I'm Francesca Klapcic, I'm part of a sailing team of uh, 11 hour racing team and uh, today we are going to take a closer look to our Imoka 60 Malama. Use this big fender as a little step. So this is a bit the border of like being inside to being outside our boat. This is a really nice spot, especially for the trimmer. I'm one of the trimmer on board. So when we have our sails up and we are sailing, that's where I normally poke my head and I check how the sails look and how the trim looks. The tiller and the rudder is over here. So you can actually bring the tiller extension and sit over here and drive the boat. It, it's not a common thing compared to other boats, but um, it's the only way we can do it. It's the only way like safe we can look outside and actually drive the boat. This is inside the boat. Uh, just one first part inside and we have everything down below. This is pretty much where we sit when we are actively driving the boat so normally the main sheet come out of the winch and we are holding the main sheet and this is our autopilot so like this you go one degree to port one degree to starboard between the pilot the main sheet and the keel everything is so connected to actively drive the boat the new boat this Imoka has foils and that's where we control that so we can change the angle of attack a bit like an airplane so the same as an airplane, you know, you get uh, wings that gives you lift to lift from the ground. But at the same time, you can change the, the angle of attack of the wing. Flat water foiling is extremely nice. It's what the boat seems to be made for. As soon as we have some sea state, no matter how strong the wind is, the boat starts to be really uncomfortable. The slamming is really big. And that's why we have all this we call it like monkey bars, you know? So even when I'm like over here trimming and I want to move forward, like I always need to pay attention to like grab and hold myself and kind of move forward to one to the other and come back here. You know? All the controls for the sails and all the halyards are all coming out from here. Again, even here to go inside. So we have all these like bars and handles kind of like everywhere. When the boat moves, it's extremely brutal and you need to like hold yourself. This is our galley. There is a little uh, burner where with a kettle on it, we can burn some water, we can uh, heat some water, get it boiled. Uh, we have a little spot for our, um, for our food and another one for our mug. And of course, there is, no, there is no bathroom. This is our toilet, you normally just uh, empty all this stuff, you know, but there is not so much comfort, but this is where we sleep. Here we go. You kind of tucked in here. Imagine that we have a mattress and then you lift this. So even if we slam, we kind of land on, on this cloth. We have basically one screen with a, with a, with a computer and uh, that's where we run all the routings and all the softwares and then this this screen get mirrored on deck nice. on the other big screen. You just come over here and uh, now it's closed but like this is one hatch so if you open this hatch you will see basically the foil that is inside the case. This is where we keep our sails. Here you can see this is the storm jib uh, and uh, we uh, our J0, the J3, the fractional, and the A3. This is pretty much our inventory that we had on board in the last leg. Yeah, so back on deck. Um, I think one of the, the, the cool part of it is that all this area of the boat is covered by solar panels, but we try to use as many renewable sources as possible. Here's the main cell the sails down below that we showed before everything is north sails and every stopover every leg they get checked here in Newport we're quite lucky because we can just send them to the loft and, uh, you really appreciate what they are doing uh, in the loft because you know how many hours are behind it we don't walk outside so often especially when it's windy it's, uh, it's 
quite scary. Where we saw the salt, the sails down below, that's where they come out. <laughs> the biggest power that we have uh, on board is our sails. That's uh, our main goal going around the world is uh, be powered by the wind and uh, we need to make sure that we have the right sails for every angle and every wind speed. It's been a pleasure to show you our little home when we are offshore. Thank you.